we've done. That's what happens when we get together and we see the light, the light of the Heavenly Father. So we come to you tonight, Father, again thanking you for a wonderful time that we've had with you. Praising and lifting up your name, Lord. A wonderful feeling we have each time we come, Father, spend this time with you. We thank you for this day, Father. We thank you for all that you have given us in this day. We know, again, we have to say, Father, each and every time that we know we're not worthy of it. But we know, Father, that you love us so that you give us all that we have. And we thank you, Father, for giving us our families, our kids, our grandkids, Father. Precious gifts that sometimes we forget how precious they are. But, Father, forgive us when we overlook the gifts that you give us and forget how precious that they are. Forgive us, Lord, for our ignorance. But, Lord, we thank you so much for them. We thank you, Father, for holding the merciful hand over them and taking care of them. Lord, we just thank you for all that you've given us. We thank you for the means of support that you give us to take care of them. Lord, we thank you for our jobs. We thank you, Lord, for being our God. We thank you, Lord, for guiding us, showing us the way through this old cold, dark world. Without your light, Father, we will all be lost. And we thank you, Lord, for being the light in the world for us. We ask you, Father, to continue Continue to be that light for us, Lord. Lord, guide us, always guide us. We ask you, Lord, to continue to be our guide, to continue to give us the wisdom to know how to live in this world. Lord, continue to cleanse us and wash us, Lord, so we can be more like you. Lord, as well, we ask you to forgive us for our sins. Forgive us for our hidden sins, Father. Forgive us for anything that we may have said or done in this day that was displeasing to you. Lord, we ask you to, to continue to touch our families and our friends, even our enemies. Lord, touch those that we don't even know, that doesn't know you, Lord. Maybe their heart will change and be willing to choose the light. And touch those, Father, we don't know that do know you, that need to be washed more as we do, that they may become closer to you. And, Father, those that we don't know that do know you and going through things because of your name, touch them, Father. Let them know that you're right there with them, that you'll never leave them to. Give them the secure that you will always be with them. Father, we appreciate you being with us. And, Father, touch those places that are going through trauma right now, the place up uh, uh, for, uh, by uh, uh, St. Louis. Louis where a young man got killed by the officer. They're going through trauma right now. Father, we, we pray for the best. We, you know what happened in that situation, Lord. Uh, Lord, handle that where it won't be people, innocent people to get hurt for no reason, Lord. You, you, you know how to handle that, where things will come out, where other innocent people won't won't get hurt and get killed uh, because of uh, 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 two people, one dead, one living. You know how the situation went down. Well, Lord, touch it with your hand and, and bring peace before destruction, Lord. We ask this in your name, Lord. Lord, we know that you are, are all power and that you can do all things, and we ask you to bring peace for destruction if it's thy will. Lord, we just ask you uh, uh, to continue to work in our lives. We ask you to continue to touch this show, Lord, that it will bring you glory, Lord, at all times. Lord, we ask you to be with us. And Lord, we just thank you for this night. We ask you to continue to watch over us as we, we rest tonight. And over our listeners, as they lay their heads down to rest, watch over them, Father. Protect them, Lord, and guide them, Lord, in their lives. Lord, these things we ask in your holy name. 
Let thy will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. This we ask in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we truly thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for shining your light upon us once again today. Again, Lord, we ask you to forgive us for our sins tonight. Forgive us of anything we've said or done or thought that was not pleasing in your sight. And always we come to surrender our hearts and our mind and our will to you, Lord. We ask you to humble us. We ask you to cleanse us and renew our mind once again. And, Lord, again, we just thank you for your word, which is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Again, asking you to fill us with your Holy Spirit, lead us and guide us every step of the way that we may do your will, no matter the circumstances that's going on around us. And Lord, we're truly asking for healing, asking for protection over there in Ferguson, Missouri, and all around the cities, Lord, because that's not the only place that's going to be going through something. But we know the families are hurting on each side, but we need healing, we need strength, we need your peace, Lord, that surround each and every one of us as they prepare to get a verdict. Again, Lord, we continue to lift them up, the family that is going through all this, and each and every individual, Lord. We know that trials and tribulations do come, but help us, Lord, to keep that hope in our hearts that we may continue to serve you in every way. As we give you all the praise and the honor and the glory, Lord, we thank you that you continue to strengthen us. We thank you that you continue to watch over us each and every night. And we thank you for this show, Lord, that you continue to bless it and that you may always be glorified as we continue to do this program. We just continue to pray for those that are listening, that may be strengthened, that may be encouraged no matter what they are going through. And we thank you for your peace, your joy, your strength, your love, and your protection upon us, our family, and our friends. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. And may God bless you all, and you'll have a great night until we see you again tomorrow night. So may God take care of you, and good night. And may the windows of heaven open and pour upon you a bundle of blessings, and have a good night. Right now, we come with an attitude of gratitude, thanking you for your actions, praising you for your ways, because you are God. We find ourselves constantly thanking you because you're constantly blessing us. <laughs> And because we have an attitude of gratitude, we can't help but to react to your actions. That's why we stop once again, Lord, as humble as we know how to constantly, constantly, constantly thank you.
For blessing. 